the answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, it's, it's very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. The criticism of the decision was instantaneous. He looks like a narcissistic fool. And lasted for weeks. If he had proper people around him, they would have never allowed him to do this. He's a 25-year-old kid who had a bad idea. Even those who had pushed the LeBronathon now ripped it. I thought it was the meanest thing an athlete's ever done to a city. And to do it on the national TV show, I thought, was just brutal. It was The Bachelor. I was waiting for him to hand Miami a rose at the end. <laughs> I think a lot of people have that feeling like, ooh, this doesn't feel good. The six hours of coverage. Jim Gray's 16 questions. Kids being used as props. Even LeBron's shirt. At the time, I was working for the New York Times. The fact the decision milked the drama for everything it's worth didn't bother me as much as an hour of awkward TV was gifted to an athlete in exchange for an exclusive. I don't have to talk no more, do I? I tweeted, ESPN insists it hasn't handed over the network keys to LeBron. He just picks the time slot, interviewer, and gets all ad money for his charity. The decision left me with the unsettling feeling that future access to star athletes would be sold for a very high price. John, did LeBron use ESPN or did ESPN use LeBron in the decision? I think it was mutual use, right? It worked for everybody. Okay, we got him. LeBron was smart enough to figure out that he could get a platform. He did. ESPN, I believe, was smart enough to understand that we would get an audience, would be the center of the universe. And despite all the media criticism, 10 million people watched. Now, a lot of them watched incensed, but that's okay. It should not be forgotten that, that our show was the highest rated studio program that ESPN has ever had. And regardless of how you feel and how I feel about the uh, mechanics of it, it was probably the right decision and probably handled the right way. 10 million people, I believe, watched the decision at the moment 28 minutes in, mm -hmm. infamously, when mm -hmm. LeBron finally said he was taking his talents to South Beach, 13 million people were watching. Yeah. It's an extraordinary audience, and obviously ESPN wanted to be a part of it, no matter what the ground rules were that had but, been set. Well, why did you say infamously? Well, I say infamously because that's the reaction by almost everybody. Almost instantly, there was negativity surrounding it. It went to LeBron, yeah. it went to ESPN, it went to Jim Gray. Everybody got beaten up. I mean, LeBron was turned into a villain for the way he announced to the world that he was leaving his hometown for Miami. Well, Do you agree with that? No, I, I, I agree that, that that happened, and I, but that's why I picked up on the term infamously, because among a number of African Americans, they saw this as a source of, of empowerment. They saw it as a source of independence. They saw it as a source of, uh, of, uh, of freedom. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.